I, uh, I had 17 years of uh, Catholic education. Uh, I went to St. Dorothy's down the road a little bit, and I went to Farrell, and my four years up in Fordham was actually taught by the Jesuits. And over that time, uh, I certainly have sinned, like everyone, <laughs> but I remember the lessons, frankly, that the nuns taught me, that the Christian brothers taught me, and that the Jesuits taught me. And Diane and Nicole have talked about the legal aspects of this fight. And Diane and Nicole talked about time and our need for time. Well, let's look at the flip side of the coin. Let's remember back to what they taught all of us about the moral side of things. The Jesuits, the Jesuits, have the moral obligation to slow this down. The Jesuits have the moral obligation to say, you know what? The Staten Island community was good to us. We are hearing them, and we're going to abide by their wishes. Forget about the legal implications for a second. They can take it on their own. And I have to say this, and I hope I don't sound defensive. None of the elected officials are wearing a black hat. The guy who's reportedly the buyer, in my mind, he's not wearing the black hat. It's the Jesuits who sold the property for the highest amount of money, apparently have put no restrictions into that sale, who in my mind are wearing the black hat. So to them, as one who cherishes the four years of education up in Rose Hill, who looks back fondly on that experience, I say to them, you have the obligation that you taught us from the time that we were kids to adults. Come to the table, meet with these folks, and explain what, what your intentions are, and don't hide behind this confidentiality agreement. I understand the buyer hiding behind that, but I don't understand the Jesuits. You, my friends, have a higher obligation. Okay, so that's the first thing. So even if we fail on every other legal fights that Diane and Nicole and others and you all are coming up with, that should be our fallback. But let's talk about the legal uh, implications. You know, I, I came up with a couple of folks jumped all over me. Are oh, you with us? We're happy to see you. Folks, I was with you before there was a fight. That's right, you were. In June That's of 2010, right. I asked for this property to be rezoned. And you know what? It's not even my council business. Right, 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 okay? Right, right. Because one day we were coming home from City Hall, and I forget what triggered it, and I just thought, man, what is the zoning over there? Maybe it was the traffic that was lined up at the traffic signal. And we reached out to city planning and they said it was R32 and they told us that they could not rezone it, they would not start a rezoning because they considered it spot zone. Okay, so that was the first swing in this. So I just want to let you know, I'm with you. I don't know what we can do. I I give I tip my hat to Rezo! Nicole Rezo! and to Diane for their and their staffs for the very creative uh, approach. I'm on the phone with these guys every day as we try to figure out what we can throw at them. Um, in my pocket, I can't reach it right now, is a letter that we all signed dated uh, July 8th to uh, Chairman Tierney at the Landmarks uh, Preservation Commission asking for them to landmark the property. We didn't make it public before because we didn't want to make it sound like we could do something that we might not be able to. They, they, uh, we called them a few days ago and said, hey, we're waiting for a response. We have not gotten that response yet. We're going to do everything that we can in the City Council to uh, to slow this down, to add some common sense to this. But at the end of the day, if, if we fail, there is still one way that this fight goes on. And that is on the, on the, uh, that's the Jesuits. And they should pick a date, pick whoever, doesn't have to be with any of the elected officials, the leaders of this group, and they should sit and they should meet. That's something in their control. That's something they have a moral obligation to do, and that's something we should fight for. Yes. Okay. Thank you.